The cabal in Asorok is confused, desperately looking for a head to break coconut on. Rino Omokri. Hello, my wonderful people. That is former president, good luck, Billy Jonathan's, one of his aides, just like we have, you know, the person of, uh, um, you know, uh, Garuba Shewu Femi Adeshino with Buhari today. That was who, you know, Rino Omokri was to the former president, good luck, Billy Jonathan. The whole arrangement and all that is currently going on, good luck, Billy Jonathan, you know, flaunting and, you know, flood, flooding the whole of our media space with him joining APC or contesting. Runo Mokri described it as confusion currently going on in Aso Rock, looking for someone's head. You know how strong coconut is. Uh -huh. They're looking for the head to look for, to, to break the coconut with. And this is a very, this is not right at all. Well, my wonderful people, these are the occurrence of the things going on. Uh, good luck, Billy Jonathan initially rejected the, the form board for him. Later, he has made a U-turn on the same form, you know, and Nigerians are wondering what next. They have been denier, counter-denier, but at the end, the truth will prevail. Let's get all the details. The cabal in Aso Rock is confused, desperately looking for a head to break coconut on. Runo Omokri, a renowned Nigerian author and a die-hard supporter of former president Good Lucky Billy Jonathan, has taken to his official Twitter handle to make a claim that there is confusion at the ruling of Progressive Congress APC and with the cabal currently looking for someone to bring on board to become their presidential candidate. They feel very much, they know that APC has failed and one of the things to do is to bring someone in who Nigerians could potentially love. Now they miss the person they drove away, he said. They want to bring in good lucky Billy Jonathan and disgrace him. It will not work. Good lucky Billy Jonathan understand their antics and all that they are trying to do and he will not fall for their cheap blackmail or spite trying to be played on him. Runo Mokri said the same cabal stood up against good lucky Billy Jonathan when the time for election came. The same people used the North against him. How come they are going now to say he is one of the best things that have happened since the slice of bread? It can no longer, it's no longer acceptable. The time has passed. Good lucky Billy Jonathan can no longer be their scapegoat for them to dally dally whether they want the North to come, on, in, come back into power after four years or they want to remain in power. However they want to do that, I plead with them not to use good lucky Billy Jonathan as their chain broker because seriously speaking, they are really confused. He says the party is looking for a presidential candidate desperately because they know all that they have now could potentially not win Nigerians' votes. The Jagaban seemed to be the only person who could withstand others. But even with him, Nigerians are skeptical and APC is worried he might not get the people's vote. According to Runo, Nigerians are aware that the ruling party is confused. He claimed that the cabal in Asorok is determined. He further went on to say that the ruling party is jittering about the candidacy and the opposition party who they will file in, looking for a head to crack on their coconut, saying his former boss, good lucky Billy Jonathan, will not be that one. His words, Nigerians don't know that APC is confused. Listen, they are confused. The, As the cabal in Asorok are, Asorok are disoriented. They are looking for a party member, and since they found no one, they know that People Democratic Party are ready to come back to power. So they are looking for someone desperately to take the fall. Julok Ibele Jonathan is not their scapegoat. So this is a, like I said, good luck Billy Jonathan's former aide and is standing for his boss saying the cabals are confused. They are looking for someone desperately to take the fall. They are looking for someone that they can manipulate, okay, to come on board and then um, at the end of the day to look like they've done something worthwhile. Nigerians can see the confusion, he said, and then um, he's not going to allow, you know, he will not stand and allow his boss to be humiliated, humiliated by these very sad people who once stood against the boss as though he had no vision for the country. The same people are coming back again to reiterate how much of a visionary he is, what he has done, and how much he did for the country. You see, all this lack of um, seriousness 
and lack of you know them showing truly who they really are standing up for to the occasion and saying it is about time you know we we, we make it we make a right decision at this point in time you know these things are rather causing serious you know consequences with regards to a party who has no bearing okay the party honestly sincerely speaking not because one wants to castigate has no bearing when they came in the only agenda apc ever had the only agenda okay apc ever had was to unseat the people democratic party that was just the whole agenda and guess what if a vision is is before you and you work at it you can achieve it and so they did achieve the vision after that there was nothing else and that's why you see them looking so confused that's why you see that they cannot go anywhere they can't forge ahead they have nothing to offer they know they know there's nothing they can offer they know and they know that Nigerians can see through the lies. Hence, they are doing everything humanly speaking possible now to ensure that, you know, they stay in power to, you know, to, to do whatever they can. But the truth of the matter is, Nigerians will not be fooled twice. They said once beaten, twice shy. You now understand, okay, the antics. And if, you, if, if something happens once and, you know, they'll be like, okay, everybody can make an excuse for you and say, okay, well, well this is what it is. But when it happens the second and the third time, ah, no, there's... There's something there. There's something there to, for great attention to be paid. One needs to pay serious attention to that very thing, you know, that is, you know, derailing and causing the people not to be able to, you know, visionary, you know, be vision, to, to be vision driven and to understand what they need to do. The people you are seeing, most of them that are coming on board to become one thing or the other. How many of them, truly, sincerely speaking, really, really have, you know, what it takes to govern Nigeria? How many of them, really sincerely speaking, have what it takes to govern Nigeria? Have they governed their own life? A local government area, then is the country. So these are things we must pay attention to and not allow ourselves to be, you know, uh, you know, derailed by some group of persons or people who have no vision, who are neither here nor there. You know, so these are some of the things really ongoing. And the time to make a real difference, to stand up to these bullies, so to say, is now. Good luck, Billy Jonathan. Rural Mokri says will not be your scapegoat. So if you want to look for somebody who will be your scapegoat, exempt Good Luck Jonathan from your from your from that category. You see, leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Remember, you and I have got voices. Let's speak out against wrongdoing and oppression ongoing in this country. God bless. Bye for now.